Hello, my name is Oliver Hartlin and I'm a reader in the School of Mathematics at the University of Leeds. In my research I use mathematics to study how liquids flow. For example, one of my projects looks at how drops form in an inkjet printer. To do this, I need to be able to describe the position of the ink surface and the fluid velocity of the ink as it changes in time in three dimensions. Since position and velocity are vector quantities, we use vectors to describe these. And today I'm going to show you how vectors can be used to define straight lines in two and three dimensions. Although you probably already know how to write down the equation of a line in two dimensions, the vector definition is more natural and works in both two and three dimensions. Let us begin by considering how we would draw a straight line on a two-dimensional plane, such as a piece of paper. We choose a starting point somewhere along the line and then use a ruler to define the direction in which we'll move our pen. As we move the pen along the line, we trace out a line of points that forms our straight line. Now let us use vectors to describe this process mathematically. We begin by choosing a point on the line, which we can call A. The position of this point is described by its position vector. In this example, it is minus 2, 2. Next, we define a direction along this line using a ruler. We can describe the orientation of the ruler using a vector parallel to it. In this case, we can use the vector B, which is at 2, minus 1. Now the position vector of any other point, P, say, along this line, can be formed from the vector sum of the position vector 0 to A and the vector from A to P. Since AP is parallel to B, it must be a scalar multiple lambda of B, so that we can write the position vector OP in the form of OA plus AP. This is called a parametric equation, since it involves a parameter lambda whose value can vary from minus to plus infinity. Each value of lambda gives a particular point along the line. 